Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition video but before we get into today's competition guys like always we need to go over the results of the previous competition that being the ammonia based world so looking at the results here it looks like the user VY Canis Majurus they took the win by storm here they got nine votes overall so let's go ahead and see their world. I believe it was this one here. So it was actually one of the gas worlds. Okay, interesting. So they took the victory of this object here. Very, very nice indeed. And second place, we also had Demunic, which was, I think it was, was it this one? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was this one. So yeah, De Demunic's one here. That was second. That was a really, really nice world as well. Uh, and then uh, third place, uh, let's see, uh, no, there were, everyone, there was loads of people who were just on two, so yeah, there's our first and second, then loads of people were joined third, so we won't go through all of those, but again, well done to VY Canis Majurus for taking the victory on this competition, but with that all said and done guys, let's move on to today's one. Okay everyone, so on to today's competition now, we are going to be doing the theoretical planet of Vulcan, so... Without further ado, let's see what you guys have uh, got here for us. So for anyone who doesn't know, Vulcan was basically a speculated object that was meant to be closer to the sun than uh, Mercury. So let's see what we've got here. Okay, looking good. So the first object here is from Endies. So, oh, that's smoking up. What's that all about? Okay, here it is. Right, oh, looks like a Mercury texture at first glance as well. Get this all out of here. Okay, that looks quite cool actually. Okay, so let's see what their description has put here. Right. Oh, I so many big descriptions. Okay, here is my submission. Vulcan is a planet between Mercury and the Sun, and if it exists, it is likely tidally locked. The surface is full of craters like on Mercury or the Moon, but because there is no atmosphere, due to tidal lock in one side is glowing hot and the other is almost completely dark. Very, very nice. So there's a good look at it. 725 degrees as well. That would make it the hottest planet in the solar system if it did exist. So there it is. Looking good. Okay, next up. We have got Troigi's one. Okay, let's see what they have got here. So there we are. Okay. Right, so a completely different look to it. Okay, what have they put here? Where's their description? Where are we? Oh, so many big descriptions. I'm trying to scroll through them all. Where is it? Come on. Where is it? Okay, this is my rendition of the hypothesized planet Vulcan, orbs in the sun every 19 days. It's very iron rich, more than mercury, and it's also very small and hot. Okay, so let's have a quick look at it there. Alrighty. Apologies if you can hear any background noise as well, guys. It's so hot in the UK at the moment that I need my windows open, I need fans on. I mean, unfortunately, I'm only going to make two videos this weekend because I cannot sit in this room. It is blistering hot. <laughs> we don't have air conditioning or anything here, so... Oh very very hot indeed but um yeah anyway so yeah smaller than mercury as we can see in its radius there but yeah there is troigi's version of it okay cool next up we have got so let's go ahead and search okay so this is a demunix version oh okay wow oh ho ho okay oh i like the clouds oh that looks very spicy okay so Okay, here's my interpretation of Vulcan. Since there wasn't really an estimated size or mass, I chose to go for anything I wanted that made more sense while allowing myself to be created. Okay, so my Vulcan is a 0.5 Earth masses rocky planet that has a very big iron rich core composing 40% of its mass. Because of its huge iron core, the density of Vulcan is pretty high at 8.33 g slash centimeters cubed, making it by far the densest rocky planet in our solar system. Even though it's just half the mass and almost half the size of Earth, because of its high density, its gravity is actually slightly higher than Earth's, 5% to be exact. Okay, so there it is. So you can see smaller than Earth mass radius there. Okay. So it's more of a Mars size contender, really, isn't it? Yeah. So a little larger than Mars, obviously, Venus, Earth. Still smaller than those guys, but yeah, pretty fair, fair sized object here. The planet is extremely close to the sun, so you'd expect it not to have any atmosphere at all. However, it has a very strong magnetic field thanks to its iron core, allowing the planet to have an atmosphere. Pressure is two time or 2.1 times thicker than Earth's. The atmosphere is composed of N2, CO2, H2O, SO2 and argon. The temperature of this planet is so extreme that more than half of its surface is covered in a huge orange hot lava ocean. 
In the coldest areas of the planet reached a minimum of 398 degrees Celsius, while the hottest areas have been recorded to reach as high as 1800, not actually simulated in the game. The atmosphere of the planet is very bright and saturated blue. The skies are covered with beautiful but deadly red hot clouds of silica. This means it rains hot gas or hot glass in this planet, sorry. Okay, so let's have a little look. And there is your sky that you would be presented with if you uh, were on this sky. So, whoa, very fiery color indeed. Okay, there you go. But there it is, looking very good. You can see the sort of faint blue sort of atmosphere as well. Nice. Okay, next up we have got. So this is. Who's is this? This is from pumpkins, okay? So it's an even larger object, okay? Right, uh, pumpkins, what they put here. It ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> the surface might look a little bit familiar, okay? Right, so there it is. Let's have a little look underneath then. That's a Venus texture. Nice, okay. So there we are, and yeah, speaking of Venus, I mean, it's probably not that much off the size of Venus either. How large is it in kilometres? I mean, yeah, okay, pretty big. So there you go. So there is Pumpkin's version of Vulcan there. All right. Next up, we have got... This is from Saulo. Okay, oh, it's modded. It's tinted. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. So as you can see, he's taking it being close to the sun to a whole new level here. That looks extremely crazy. Okay, uh, what's their description? Uh, he's just put modded boy. Okay, so here it is. Let's have a little look underneath. Okay, there you go. So that is an insane atmosphere level. So, I mean, if you're going to be that close to the sun, you need to be very bright. So, yeah, pretty extreme stuff. No clouds, but atmosphere off, clouds off. Aha, okay, so the clouds are quite mysteriously thick as well. Yeah, they're all clouds, they're not the surface. Okay. Very interesting. So that's what it actually looks like, atmosphere on. Okay. So yeah, a very, very extreme world. But there you go. Let's actually just tune that down a bit just so we can actually see a little more of it. So yeah, okay, so yeah, very, very thick indeed. I mean, yeah, that is just... That's why that's very, very crazy. So, yeah, it was roughly like that, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, there is a Salo's one. So, extremely modded. Okay. Next up, we have got Tuppy's object. Okay. So, here it is. Okay, and Tuppy has put a description. Not my best submission, but I hope you enjoy it. Going for a small description this time. Vulcan is a small planet, yet bigger than Earth, with a very fit of. Uh, it's a small planet, yet bigger than Earth. Oh, it's bigger. Oh, wow, it is as well. Right, 1.19 Earths. Um, and it has a very dark atmosphere and frequent volcanic activity, which is violent enough to form various lava flows visible from outer space. The surface pressure is so high that most lava flows won't even dry, meaning they accumulate lava forever until something stops it. The red city lights are meant to be lava flows, and the clouds are basically vapour. Okay. So you can see the glows. If you look very carefully there, you can see there is some there. But I think the clouds are probably hiding a lot of it. So if we hide the clouds, you should be able to see the lights probably a little easier. There's some there, yeah. Oh, the clouds don't really make a difference. There you go, that's better. So there's your lava flows, so hot and glowing. Oh, wow, it looks pretty cool on the front of the object as well. Okay, so very scorched looking world there. All right, next up we have got... So Tuppy, yeah, we have Canis Majoris' is one next. So our previous competition winner, here it is. So they're going for the smaller version of the planet again. Okay, so their description, where are we? Uh, put description later, doesn't look like he ever did. Okay, so there it is. Okay, let's just have a little look underneath as well. There you go. Okay, cool. Next up we have got this one. So this is from the user yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh seven, nine, three, eight. So uh, I thought I've not seen them before. Uh, let's see. 
This is my first time submitting an object, so I apologise if I do anything wrong. No, no, it looks good. Uh, my rendition of Vulcan is meant to be somewhat realistic. I did do a ton of research on this, but I think the Vulcan being Pluto-sized would be most likely. Whether or not it would qualify as a dwarf planet would probably be dependent on if there are volcanoids in its orbit. My Vulcan has a reddish-brown surface with molten lava basins which light up the dark side of the world. So let's actually get a closer look into this so you can see them yeah, behind. Okay. Uh, uh, I also had a city lights for extra magma look. It also has a thin atmosphere, though realistic, wooden due to solar radiation. I also gave it a toxic red cloud that speed over its surface, so I assume that the world would be volcanically active. Let's say if Vulcan were real, maybe not having a dark surface during transit would keep us from seeing it as it would blend in with the glare of the sun. I personally don't believe it's real, the vast majority of people don't, but it's cool to imagine what it would be to find a planet so close that we never noticed. Yeah, it's true. It would be cool to see it. But yeah, it's probably uh, I, I I wouldn't believe in this. I have to say. I mean, I never really knew much about. It. I only heard about this theory like a few years ago. But yeah, this one is when I heard it, I was like, "Come on, really? <laughs> no way!" But um, yeah, there it is. So very very hot and glowy as we can see. Oh, the city lights were switched off. There we go. Let's turn them on. There you go. Cool. So there is their Vulcan. I thought that was Canis Majoris's one. Hang on, what? What am I doing? I didn't spawn. <laughs> what am I doing? I need to spawn the planet first. There we go. That's what it was covering. I was wondering. I was like, hang on. That one didn't have lights on it. Well, yeah, that's why. But th there it is. So I'm so sorry. There it is. So cool. So yeah, there's the lights. You can see that. Yeah, that's better. Okay, that makes more sense. Why was I going over the same one before? I'm, I'm going mad. It's what the heat does to you. No, I'm, I'm so hot in this room. <laughs> So, there it is, Vulcan. Cool. Alright, next up, we have got... So, I basically just reviewed the same object twice without even noticing. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, next up, we've got Exoplanetarian. Blank planet. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. That is a big description on one of those. Jeez. Uh, side note, I turned down the temperature of the planet a lot to show its surface. Vulcan is smaller than Earth with a 0.7 Earth radius. Its atmosphere is constantly polluted with smoke and from erupting volcanoes and steam pots. Due to its close proximity to the sun, heated metals form an ultra-hot liquid which seeps from the planet's grainy surface. Okay. Nice. This also looks like underneath. Okay. Cool. Right, next up, we have got... So this is some minor bats, okay? There it is, whoa. That one looks like an absolutely hellish well. Look at that. Okay, uh, minor bat. Uh, let's see, description anywhere. Do not unpause. Okay. Vulcan was a hypothetical planet um, in the past that would have orbited inside the orbit of Mercury. It is so close to the sun it is tidally locked, although internal magma movements make it hard um, to position the planet <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so it's not really visible that it's tidally locked. The temperature is about hot enough that portions of the surface are molten lava oceans, but it isn't entirely covered by them. I used orange coloured water. Yeah, it's looking good. That's why he said do not unpause, because it would probably break the object. Um, that is why you do not unpause when it evaporates. Um, all of the not quite molten rock is still glowing hot. I also added city lights to represent volcanoes, although you have to look very closely on the dark side to spot them. Okay, I really like the glowing hot. That looks. That is a really cool effect using water to figure that out. There's some city lights there. You can see them uh, there. Oh yeah, nice. That is a really good looking world. I, I really like the use of the water there. I think that that looks really, especially with the glowing lava at the set, lava and water together at the same time. That that goes really well. I think I think that's really really cool. And it really gives it the interpretation that it's closer to the sun than Mercury. Look at the difference. You know that is a. Uh, that's night and day. Okay, next up we have got WB. Okay, let's see what they've got for us here. Okay, Vulcan was a hypothetical planet that some pre 20th century astronomers thought existed in an orbit between Mercury and the Sun. Speculation, even um, purpose observations of inter uh, Merkel bodies or planets, date back to the beginning of the 17th century. The idea of Vulcan was bolstered by French mathematician Urban Lee Ferrier. Okay, we're getting a bit of um, history here as well. Um, who by 19 or 1859 had confirmed unexplained um, 
uh, polluter is in Mercury's orbit and predicted they has to be a result of gravitational influences of another unknown nearby planet or a series of asteroids. A French amateur astronomer's report um, that he had observed the planet pass in front of the sun the same year Lee Ferrer to announce the long sought after planet for which he gave the name Vulcan had been discovered at last. The need for the planet as an excavation of Mercury's orbital um, peculiarities sorry, um, was later rendered unnecessary when Einstein's 1915 theory of general relativity showed Mercury's departure from orbit predicted by Newton physics was explained by effects arising from the curvature of space time caused by the sun's mass. Sorry for the history lesson. No, I like a history. History is cool. I depicted Vulcan as a tidally locked planet with the side face and the sun being scorched. Molten rock being visible from space. The other side of the planet has visible volcanoes. You need to zoom in to see it. The planet also has craters visible on its surface. Not as many as Mercury, though, so I don't feel like throwing a million asteroids onto its surface. But if you think about it, if asteroids were hitting it, they'd obviously... Um, if the planet's so hot and the surface is molten anyway, the asteroids wouldn't leave such a mark, if any mark at all. If it hit a pool of lava, you wouldn't really see a difference. And also, if it hit a drier area, well, if that dry area ever did get as hot as molten, all the, the crater would sort of fill itself in, I guess. Um, so, yeah, it makes sense. There it is here. So you can see some glows there. There's some city lights hidden right there. Look, turn them on and off. Okay, nice. So there's WB's uh, one. And then next up... I think it's is it one more let's see uh yeah it is aquarius is one so there it is aquarius the ocean marble and they left a enormous description here that is huge journal log vulcan processing complete vulcan the planet had never existed so orbital parent is the sun orbital period 28.1 days semi-major access 0 0.181 au um and it's also just got all the other orbit stats for, for all of those. Uh, rotational stats, 13.3 uh, days to uh, rotate. Temperature, highest temperature, 506 degrees. Lowest temperature, 223 degrees. Okay. Vulcan is a planet that orbits between the Sun and Mercury. It is a molten lava world. It is very similar to Venus due to the fact it has an atmosphere and is very hot. It is the most dense of any planet in the solar system due to the fact it has an iron-rich mantle core. It's also more massive than Earth at um, 1.11 Earth masses. But smaller than Venus at 0 0.91 Earth radius, okay. Uh, its atmosphere is a red atmosphere composed of 99.8% carbon dioxide, and the other 0 0.2 is of other carbon compounds. It has very small hints of water vapour. The crust is very thin. Its crust is mostly made of rock-like material and hints of compressed carbon materials and metals. Its mantle is very, very large, as it is mostly made of iron, copper, nickel layer, and then a molten iron core. The core is made of iron, copper, gold, titanium, tungsten, silver, and hints of nickel and rock. Its surface is full of craters similar to the ones on the moon and Mercury, meaning they have a similar origin. The surface is full of molten lava thrown all over its crust, molten whatever probes that we send there in almost 20 minutes. There are also hints of life on the surface similar to the ones Venus, Earth, and Mars, meaning it may have come from um, a further orbit, but in mass extinction, plus closer to the sun, which is why it is so hot and uninhabitable. Okay, nice. And yeah, a planet this side, it'd be like Earth and Venus's other twin. So, yeah, pretty cool. Alright, nice. And then that does it for our Vulcan competition. So, a very, very interesting wide range of objects. I mean, they all look pretty, pretty different. So, we just search up Vulcan. I mean, yeah, they go, yeah. They may look very similar at first, but yeah, completely different uh, once we have them all spawned in. So, there you go. There's our lineup. So, can you think of that? It's pretty cool very very wild stuff so again going through them all once more what we'll do is so we've got Tuppy's object here then we have this one who's is oh that's one we just checked out actually yep so that was um aquarius the ocean marble then we have pumpkins one blank planet whose was this one um remember to put your names in guys otherwise we do have this issue uh was that wb's no um one of the last ones wasn't it there it is yeah so that was um exoplanetarians one then we have the moonix one salos one minor bats one that's the one with the water on it that looks really cool then we have uh Endy's one that was the first one by canis majoris is one there's wb's one uh, troigi's one and then lastly yes is one over here so there you go guys that is the full list of vulcans so 
with that all said and done guys good luck to everyone in this competition as always if you like to vote and participate in the competitions make sure to join my discord server link in the description but yeah guys good luck to everyone once more thank you for everyone who submitted for this competition as well very very cool list of objects here but yeah there we are guys so thank you all for watching let's see if we can go for 50 likes on today's video as well guys and yeah i will see you in the next video goodbye